In today's video, we're going to take some old pallet wood and use that to enclose a water heater. There are certain rare events in a maker's world and where you hope to run into them now and then. And when they do, they're great. Those items would be hitting the stud on the first try, completing a project in a day with zero runs to Home Depot, and then getting in a groove with making some project with a friend where it just makes the project go super smooth and fast. All those three things happen in this project. So as Ice Cube used to say, today was a good day. For this project, we needed to create some type of structural frame to attach the uh, pallet wood slats to it. So I just used some two by fours, found the studs on two sides. And then for that third corner piece, I mounted it to the two floor pieces and two ceiling pieces, so it was pretty sturdy. There were some spots where I actually had to mark out um, and notch out, out of the frame, some slots for electrical and gas and a few other pipes. I know pallet wood is kind of considered the red-headed stepchild of wood, but it serves a really great purpose. It's not structurally sound, but when you can get your hands on it and slice it up, which is what we did in this case, my friend had a ton of pallet wood and he chopped off the front pallets and trimmed them down the middle in half and created about 70 or 80 of these little slats. And then he dyed them with some wood stain. And so that's what we used here. And I made a, a secondary front frame piece that's only held on with about two screws on the left and two screws on the right. And that's gonna be kind of the door. So if anyone needs to service the water heater, you just need to remove those four screws and that front panel will come off or slide out um, to the right. 